टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट दी जियो थर्मल एनर्जी वट इज जियो थर्मल एनर्जी जियो मीन्स अर्थ एंड थर्मल मीन्स हीट इट मीन्स एनर्जी इनर ऑफ अर्थ एनर्जी ऑफ अर्थ वी विल यूज एनर्जी ऑफ अर्थ फॉर प्रोड्यूसिंग इलेक्ट्रिसिटी नाउ सी हाउ वी कैन एक्सट्रैक्ट जियो थर्मल एनर्जी फ्रॉम द अर्थ फर्स्टली वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट लेयर्स ऑफ द अर्थ फॉर प्रोड्यूसिंग एनर्जी और हीट एनर्जी वी हैव ए बिलो लेयर ऑफ मागमा दिस इज ए मागमा लेयर विच इज वेरी हॉट एंड इन लिक्विड फॉर्म एंड फ्रॉम दिस मागमा लेयर ए सॉलिड रॉक इज कनेक्टेड बाय द कंडक्शन this solid rock will be heated by the heat of the magma and above the solid rock there is a porous rock in which there are many holes for traveling water in between this rock and above the porous rock is the surface so by what method we can extract energy from this layers of the earth firstly a hole or a well is drilled in the surface of the earth to the porous rock then also a well is drilled on the other side to the porous rock these are the wells from these wells steam will be liberated or hot water will be liberated from this hot water or from this steam we can extract energy which will further produce electrical energy now we will discuss how this hot water and this dry steam will useful for producing electrical energy we have this surface with well drilled in the surface to the porous rock now what will happen this is a vapor dominated system in which we use dry steam this is a liquid dominated system in which we use hot water or mixture of the steam and hot water there will be a filter for filtering the dry steam impurities in the steam or any other kind of metal particles will be filtered on this step then there will be a turbine this filter steam will reach on the turbine for rotating the turbine after leaving the turbine it will reach to the condenser for changing phase into liquid and this condenser is then connected to the pump for further purpose this is the generator which is connected to the turbine what will happen when this dry steam will strike on the turbine blade turbine will start rotating and by the rotation of the turbine generator will start generating electricity after leaving the turbine it will go to the condenser there it will change their phase into liquid and then this pump will pumping back this into the porous rock and in the liquid dominated system there will be a flash chamber for separating hot water and steam also some impurities in the mixing of water and steam there they will be separated in the flash chamber then we have a turbine for rotating purpose which will connect to the generator then after leaving steam to the turbine it will go to the condenser for changing phase and then we have a pump now what will happen when this steam separated steam will go to the turbine turbine will start rotating and after doing this work this will go to the condenser 
condenser will change the phase of the steam and converted it into the hot water and by the help of pump it will again send to the porous rock for further working so this is the working of vapor dominated system and liquid dominated system from these two system we can extract earth energy and convert this energy into electricity thank you